Hello, welcome to the 7 Day Spark Homework and thank you for being here. I'm so glad you're here for two reasons. The first reason I'm glad you're here is so that I can help you and serve you and help you live a passionate life of adventure and mission. Second reason I'm glad you're here is that I'm glad that you're taking your goals and dreams seriously enough to take this giant step forward and try to get done with the 7 Day Spark Homework. You see, when I was in my early 20s, I was wandering with no sense of purpose. I was depressed with no vision. I was experiencing failure after failure. I felt depressed and lack of significance in the world and as a result I was disconnected from the people I loved and disconnected from God. But someone came into my life and they began to deposit teachings in my life and those teachings were a key. They became a key for me to live the life that I knew deep down I was supposed to live. Now over the last 12 years I can tell you I experienced a lot of ups and downs but on the whole since I've had those teachings and since someone deposited this in me, I have lived a life of passionate, sparked vision. I've seen successes after successes. I've experienced a huge amount of significance as I've shared these principles with others, and as a result, I've become fused and connected with those I love and fused and connected with God. And the life of mission that me and Marissa now live cause an explosive sense of significance in our heart as we're living the calling of God on our life that's the direction the seven day spark homework was created to take you in. So really quick, I just wanted to share with you two quick things. The first thing I wanted to share with you was a little bit about the seven day spark homework and how it can help you. The second thing I want to share with you are five points on how you can make the most of your time with the seven day spark homework. A little something about the seven day spark homework. How do I get vision and clarity in my life? I opened the seven day spark homework with this very question. The reason I do is that most of my life coaching clients over the years have asked me that very same question. And this is what the 7 Day Spark homework is designed to help you answer. It's a filter. It helps you filter what's not important from what is important. And other things that are important to you, it helps you figure out what's most important to you. See, for previous generations, the problem was a need for more options. Previous generations would search out news from all corners of the globe. They'd move to the big city to, to seek more opportunity. They'd want to have more opportunities, to earn more money, to have more things. In fact, the baby boomers are often associated with the generation that had the most amount of stuff and is synonymous with the consumer generation. They made the minivan popular. They made the Mustang popular. They made suburban living popular. This was, this was the way of life for previous generations. Today we have an equally difficult challenge, but of a different nature. You see, we have too many options. We could get news from anywhere at any time. We could purchase anything from any corner of the world, from any website at any moment. Thank you, Amazon, Google Shopper, and eBay. You see, but what I want you to notice is that both the previous generations and generations today have a similar problem. That problem is not knowing what's important, and more than that, not knowing what's most important to the individual and being able to make decisions about that. I am convinced that when we know what is of the utmost importance to us, we will absolutely be able to commit to it. And when we can commit to it, we'll have no problem discovering ways to do it excellently and to see successes in our own lives. And from that moment of successes, we couldn't help but share that experience with others. You see, this is what I mean when I say state of the spark. Spark vision ignites successes, explodes significance, and it starts with your ability to know what is important to you, and from those things that are important to you, to know what is most important to you. And that's the purpose of the seven day spark homework. Well, Grant, what happens when I get clarity? What then? It's a great question, but relax. This is the moment you're in. Rest assured, there's the top 100 Dream Igniter document that comes along and takes it further to help you create a plan of action. There's mentoring down the pike. There's other things we're creating, but for right now, I want you to focus on doing the seven day homework with your utmost being. You have so much to look forward to, living the passions on your heart, living excitement and adventure that you know you were made to live. You can have these things. You will have these things. I guarantee you, just take the first step here. So that's the first thing I want to share with you, a little bit about the seven day homework. The second thing I wanted to share with you were five quick points on how you can get the most of your time with the seven day homework. First, go slow. Take your time. There's no need to hurry. We'll get to all the other dreams on your heart. They're not going anywhere. But take your time with this day by day, moment by moment, focus on being. You see, God placed you here today. So be experiencing here and will take us forward into the future of accomplishing your other dreams. 
Second, I highly recommend you printing the document off. You see, something strange happens when you write versus typing or just reading on a screen. What happens is, is you take inputs in during a lecture or watching something on the screen or even typing it. You take that information in. However, it's just generally recorded. Your brain has no way to filter or decide unconsciously what's important and what's not. However, when you write a thing, that writing creates a spatial memory and that spatial trigger creates an in-depth memory of that thing. So I highly recommend you printing this thing off and writing out the seven day homework by hand. It'll really trigger some deep memories with you. So do me a favor, print it off, put it in a binder. Label that, bind, bind, label that binder Dream Machine or, or Dreams or uh, Master Vision. Whatever it is that resonates with you, label that binder, have it on hand, because guess what? We're gonna use it when we get to the top 100 Dream Igniter and the other stuff we'll be doing together. Third, the third thing is really simple. Once you've printed off the seven day Spark homework, I want you to read it over it in its entirety. The reason I want you to do this is, you are more likely to be able to devote yourself to the here and now and the actions of the middle of the moment right now if you understand the entire process. So I want you to read the entire document in its entirety. Fourth, I recommend you starting this on a Monday. I prefer starting on a Monday. It will take you right through Sunday. And on Sunday, you have a clean beginning and a clean end that already lines up with a natural work week. Um, however, don't feel bound by that. Start when you want to start. But I prefer to say start on a Monday. And the last thing, finally, when you're done, celebrate. Always celebrate your successes, whether it's a small dinner with your friends, whether it's an earmark in your journal, or whether it's an email blast to everyone you know. You have to celebrate and earmark these successes so that when you look back on them, just like writing something down, you're triangulating a deep-seated memory of the success you had because this is an important moment. So celebrate. Take a friend out for dinner. And guess what? Hand the seven-day homework to a friend so that they can discover the dreams that they're seeking because that's what the state of the spark is all about. Ultimately, as you spark your own vision, as you ignite successes in your own life, and as you begin to ex live an explosive life of significance by sharing those successes, what it ends up being is about other people. State of the spark is about your interactions with other people and how you impact them in the world. So do me a favor, the final stage, celebrate, and then celebrate your spark journey by handing it to a friend. And that's it. So you've heard a little bit about the seven day spark homework and you've learned five of my top tips on how you can make the most of the seven day spark homework. So that's all there is. I simply ask this, if you go through the seven day spark homework and get anything out of it, or if you've gotten anything out of this little teaching, I ask that you just like it below. Thank you very much for checking in. Good luck on your spark journey and I'll see you on the field.